have access to both cameras over there, but we're only going to have one camera over here, you guys. Hey, hey. So um, if you guys want our normal view, you guys have to head over to YouTube. Hey, Lori. And I'm Roy Cycled over on YouTube as well. So let me just take, I'm going to just take a breath for a minute because I'm like <sighs> thoroughly irritated right now. <laughs> uh. Good evening. Good evening, you guys. Welcome, welcome to um, the end of our marathon. Everybody did such a good job today. I've been watching, even though we've been moving around all day. I've been taking my devices with me. I got the side eye from our son today because I was watching you guys during our Sunday dinner. <laughs> the serious side eye from Chef Dom. I should have put Grill Master. Oh, yeah, Grill Master would be yeah, better. Yeah, not Chef, but... Eh. Oh, I know. No, I don't know. I am thoroughly irritated, though. Because, like, legitimately, I could see all of my other um, pages that I'm an admin on. I just couldn't see Roy Cycled. And it's literally, I mean, the only place I go live on or in my groups. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I'll have to call... Um, these people later and figure it out but i'm gonna put you guys down and i'm not sure how the sound is but there isn't a whole lot we can do about it because we don't have a mic for the phone no no there's just nothing that can be done at the moment i who knows i i just don't i don't know let's you, say you, hi to everybody babe let's start there i'll start feeling better I see there are people on YouTube, so I they can see us fine. I think that a business fine. that wants to make money yeah. would like to make things as easy for people. You would think. Oh, good, Kathy. Thank you. Kathy says it sounds fine. To do things. They're not going to be able to hear me very well. Can you guys hear David? I'm just curious. You may have to be loud, baby. Yeah, but I don't want to blow out YouTube. Where oh, we have yeah, that's microphone. true, huh? On YouTube, Sweet Pickens, Texas says, Happy Sunday. Redeemed is here from Manistee, Michigan. Kathy Dixon, Handy and Honey, Karen Macy, Lynn Arand. Uh, loved all the retailers in the marathon, she said. Yeah. Doris R. says, Hello from Chile, North Carolina. Lori Kentner says, You sound good in Canada. Kim Lamar. And that's everybody on YouTube that has commented thus far. Over on the Facebooks, we have <laughs> Kathleen O'Brien Uvis from Illinois, Tommy Carroz, Sweet Kate's Faves, Celestine Todd, Lori Stanley Henderson from Indiana, Erla Cookson McDonald from Quincy, Illinois, Dior Design and Decor, Bella Rowe, Chris Schmidt, Aunt B's oh. Attic. Glad we weren't the only ones with trouble today, no, LOL. Girl, it was me too. My camera's uh, on this side and this side. Yeah, so I, I'm i going to assume, because so many people were live, Facebook is yeah, maybe, maybe it's waiting for somebody to sign off. It and My page isn't live anymore because I double-checked. I'm going to have to move my camera a little but bit. But maybe somebody's still logged in and they're saying, wait, there's... Too many yeah, admin maybe they're logins. confused. I don't know. I don't know. You don't say. Gina Ferrara Elmore from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Vintage Dames Amanda Velderman, Velderman, excuse me. Janet Taylor Borgers. Lori Stanley Henderson says, sounds okay. Vintage Dames. Uh, Pat, if you can barely hear here on Facebook, we have a mic over on YouTube. So if you want to hop over to Roy Cycles on YouTube, you can hear us over there. You can hear me. So. Yeah, well, because Pat said she can barely hear, but somebody else said they can hear both of us fine. So it just depends. But um, I am mic'd on YouTube. So uh, Let's see. Hey, Oka Sherry. Zork. Yeah, says, I'm both places, Sherry. I'm on YouTube and Facebook. But I'm on my phone on you on. So normally, you guys, I have two cameras on both platforms. But tonight, I'm literally using my phone for Facebook. And I'm using my switcher over on YouTube. So I'm going to have two cameras on YouTube. But I'm only going to have the phone here on Facebook tonight. And I'm not mic'd on Facebook either. Because for some reason, I wasn't able to connect. So 
Um, you guys can choose. You can hang out here on Facebook or you can head over to YouTube. It's up to you. Rita Burnett Law says, I do sound like I'm in a barrel on Facebook, which makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm literally yelling over to a phone that's about two yards away. Two yards, really, babe? Yeah, that's at least, that's at least six feet, isn't it? Is, how many feet are in the yard? Three feet. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right, because it's... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Flea Brown uh, is checking in from rainy Santa Barbara. Judy Gramillion says they can hear you, so that's fine. Kenny okay. Hall says, I don't see you on YouTube. She is there. I was going to say, I see other people on YouTube. Yeah, so we, we're there. Maybe refresh your browser. And it's Roy Cycled on YouTube. I think there's still like a Roy Cycled Treasures on YouTube, even though I deleted it. It's still Yeah, I up. might be going hot because I'm yelling. Yeah, don't be yelling. So, because Lynn Aran says YouTube is clear for Royce, but David clear enough. So I might, because I'm yelling for Facebook, oh, I might be okay. yeah. going hot on YouTube. So sorry about that, guys. Sorry, you guys. You know, technology. We love it. <laughs> and we hate it. And we love it. It's just a thing. So tonight has been a celebration or a farewell, bid farewell of retired designs. And I guess I should start from the beginning, huh? Hi, you guys. For those of you who are new, possibly to Roy Cycle Treasures, my name is Royce. The voice you guys hear behind the camera is my husband, David, and together we make up Roy Cycled Treasures. And so uh, we have been having a decoupage marathon all day, and I am so grateful for the retailers who um, volunteered to come and to share tonight, or today rather, because we started at 2 p.m. Central Time. And we had a little dinner break, and then we're finishing off. And so I am going to end tonight with some designs. I've been watching all day to figure out which designs I'm going to use because I didn't want to use stuff that everybody else already used. So you guys know I'm going to do all of the, like, grungy, chippy, industrial designs. So that's what we're going to do. Um, all right. Can I ask a question? Yes. So on Facebook, Amanda Velderman says, tech is my job, so I love it. But I get that many, many dislike it immensely. It's not that we dislike it. We love it when it works. It's just there's no logical reason for Royce to not be able to access her page through Switcher. Switcher Studio. Through S Switcher Studio. Yeah. So, Amanda, if you know. Yeah, so we're using a third-party app to be able to stream so that I can stream to multiple locations. And every week we come here at the same time, and we use this app the same way to be able to stream onto both Facebook and YouTube. And for some reason tonight, when I go onto my app, it's connected to Facebook. I happen to be an administrator for multiple pages and I can see all the other pages, but I cannot see Roy Cycle Treasures. And because I can't see it, then I can't like choose it to stream to it. So um, if I only wanted to stream to Facebook, it'll let me connect, but it wouldn't let me connect for a multi-stream. So if I have to choose between the two platforms for the multiple camera, I'm going to go with the one that's being cooperative, Yeah, which is YouTube. Can, can I talk just for a minute? Because I, I've got headphones in, so I'm really behind you right now. And I'm trying to find out. I'm sounding really far away on YouTube as well. So I'm talking right now, just waiting for me to catch up so I can determine where I'm at. Sorry, everybody. I know this is really stupid, but boy, we are behind. YouTube is, there we go. All right, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so thank you guys so much for coming to our farewell party for our designs. Somebody asked a really good question. They asked, why do we have to retire designs? Well, if we're gonna bring you guys new stuff, we have to, kind of take stuff off because otherwise I'd be up to like, you know, at this point, if I never retire designs, we'd probably be up to like 600 designs. And for the retailers to carry that many designs, it's just not really um, tenable for them to do that. And so we have to retire in order to bring you guys new stuff. So we're having a farewell, par a farewell party for these designs. And the good news is pretty soon we'll be announcing our new spring collection. So Super excited about that. It's a mini collection for this year, but I I say it's a mini collection, but it's kind of not. There's a lot of new designs, but there are just fewer actual sheets. I'll say that. So it's a mini collection, not mini collection. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, so Kathy's saying they were going to cancel the APIs. My understanding that A, it was going to be into groups, and B, it was going to be in April. So, and I could stream into any other page. It just wasn't to recycle treasures. So Amanda says, is it still set the, to the accountant to, is it still set to the account that was previously sharing? No, that's the problem. So. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. It's literally, we share to this page every week here on Sunday. And for some reason, it, it wasn't connected. So it was just weird. I don't know. Vintage Dame says, I heard recently Facebook and Instagram. I know, I just answered Oh, I'm that sorry. One. I apologize. Yeah, they were getting ready of APIs. I, and it was supposed to be in April, and it was only supposed to be for groups. But I could still see all my other pages. Like, I could have gone live. Yeah, into... this is Recycled Treasures. This isn't a group. This is No, but what I'm saying is when I, when I pull up my list to choose from, I could have gone live onto um, right. Iron Orchid Design. I could have gone live onto Shark Tank, to Arizona Community not, Foundation. Not the real Shark Tank. No. We had like a local Old Shark Tank event where we like gave prizes to businesses anyways. And I was um, lucky enough to be involved in that project. But anyways, I digress. We're here together tonight. We are going to make it work and we're going to have fun. It's going to be a good night. So Pat Reed, I promise she is on YouTube. She says, I can't find you. Recycled Treasures. Recycled. Oh, Recycled. Just Recycled. Yes, on YouTube. Okay. That's what I was saying. Because it came up. It's I'm watching it right now. Yeah, and we have people making comments on YouTube. Yeah. So it's just it's just Recycled, not Recycled Treasures on YouTube. So Okay. Sorry, you guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let's get started. It's like 625. Amanda did the, the true tech person thing. Disconnect and reconnect. Yeah. I did it that, off Amanda. And on. I did. I, I closed my app completely. I came back in. I tried to go search for apps on you on Facebook to make sure I had given permission. I'm not saying that I'm super techie, but I've been using this for what, three years now? Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. We've never had, I've never had this specific problem happen. It's okay. The one thing about Switcher Studio is that their tech, their like um, help desk is really good. So I will be calling them tomorrow to figure this out. But let's look at our project. So I'm going to point you guys down on Facebook to my desk. I hope that's a good angle. And then. Um, no, Amanda, you're fine. It's just. It, you... I appreciate it, Amanda. I do. I yeah. really do appreciate it. Um it was just funny because that's the IT crowd. It is. Have you tried turning it off and Turn on Turn it again? off and let it sit for 15 minutes and then plug it back up. No, I appreciate it. I really do. I really, really do. Um, I started fussing with it about 30 minutes before we were scheduled to go yeah. live. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Let's get to it. I have several projects. Y'all know me. I got three projects out today. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if I can finish them. So I don't know if you guys saw the reel that I did earlier where I talked about how um, during COVID, I go, I do a lot of picking. And normally I have to like go out and physically go picking. But during COVID, a lot of the, the, the guys that we pickers buy from, they were selling lots on Facebook. So I was able to buy a lot of like 25 of these sewing machine drawers. Um, you know what? Let me pull this camera up because it's too close. I had it down for my membership because we were working on something and I wanted them to see exactly what I was doing. But you guys don't need to be that close. Sorry. So um, I bought this lot of sewing drawers. And what we did was we took... Um, Subflooring is what we use. This wood here on the top and the bottom is subflooring that we attached. And we just attached it. The side of the drawer is actually a portion of the sewing machine drawer and, of course, the front and the side. So some of the sewing machine drawers are really, really pretty. And, um, you know, they're really ornate. This one is kind of plain. I still like, I don't think, I can't bring myself to cover this wood, though. So what I think we're going to do is just to the top and bottom. And I thought the Sashiko, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, decoupage paper, this is one of the ones that are retiring, um, would be really, really nice with this wood. It would look really nice with the wood tone. And so we're going to use this one on this one. And I know you guys see this online, and it just looks like it's blue with, like, white lines on it. But um, this paper has a ton of visual texture. You can actually see the fiber, like the texture of the fiber, and then... These are stitches and they're imperfect and it looks like 
um, it's a sequel. It's a stitching. It's it's a stitching practice. Um, Carmen from Carmen's Curiosities happens to be super talented at this too. So this one is a sashiko, and this is one of the ones that is retiring. Another one is the Renaissance Blueprint. I'm sad to retire this one because I actually love this one, but um, <laughs> something has to go. And so this one is one of the ones that's retiring. And I have this metal clipboard I probably picked like, I don't know how long ago. Um, and I love it. There's like numbers that are scratched in here. I gotta figure out how to bring those numbers out. I wish I could push some paint in there and wipe it back so these could be more evident. But this is probably gonna end up being some type of an assemblage, but I'm gonna decoupage this just onto the bottom of this. I think it's perfect for this metal. And then this piece, um, is another, I think you guys saw me do, I did, I did a paint inlay on one of the ones we made. We put in, um, butcher block countertops into our kitchen last summer, mm, summer summers. before, yeah, summer before last. I don't throw away anything, y'all. <laughs> and we had pieces left. And so we took that and we cut that. And then these are just bits left over from spindle projects. And if you guys look, like these feet don't all match, but they're all the same height, so it still sits really well. And so I thought it would be super fun to use the chippy wood decoupage paper over the top of this to kind of give it some more character. And then like the mismatched feet to me will make more sense um, with like a chippy, with the visual texture of the chippy paper. So I'm gonna start by painting everything white and then we will get to decoupaging. Do you so have any just, questions, baby? Yeah, just for me, if you're on Facebook, um, please share, like, or, well, you don't have to like it. Share it, comment, <laughs> hit an emoji, yeah. anyone you want. Um, my phone updated, so I have new emojis now. Oh. I think. Yeah, let me go with this one. I wish the emojis looked the same everywhere because there's like an emoji that to me looks like a giggle, but then like on some devices it looks like, oh, instead of like a giggle. So then my emojis don't make sense. Yeah. I like the giggle emoji. If, uh, if you're on YouTube, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe. It really does help the channel. Uh, hit the thumbs up and the bell. The bell lets you be notified when Royce is live and you can tailor that so you don't get notifications from everything on youtube yeah so literally this is the only thing i get notified from on youtube is when roy cycled is live if that's the only thing you want if that's the only thing you want that's the only thing i want because I, the other stuff I watch on YouTube, I know when it's. We're like, not going to talk about the other stuff. No, you no, watch no, on no, 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 not not the crazy stuff I'm watching right now. <laughs> no, I mean like for work. Oh yeah. You know, city council meetings, county board of supervisor meetings. Don't you want to get an alert when they upload? Those? I know when they're on, and I just hate the fact that I have to watch them. No. Oh. Because it's boring. Come, come now, David. Oh, it is so boring. You don't want to hear about 30 minutes about asphalt? You know, as a rule, no. <laughs> I have to go to two of the meetings live in person. I'll go to one tomorrow night. It's Thatcher. Um, but two of them, they stream. I'm not going. Yeah. No. See, city, municipalities, if you stream, then people won't come bother you at the meetings. And you know what? That's what the elected officials don't realize. And by the way... If, if you have an issue, I, I don't care what your issue is, but if you have an issue you you really care about in your community, yes, get about five to ten people to come with, <laughs> and the council will do whatever you say. I don't care if it's your school board, your city council. I don't think that's true. It is absolute. I have been. I've done it before. I have been. We didn't win. At councils in Nevada, California. Arizona, Minnesota, Illinois, when a group of people all say the same thing. You're more likely. Elected officials, I'm going to say it this way, they back down hard. Yes. Because they don't normally hear from people. Mm. They hear from their circle of friends. Maybe the people they go to church with, the same people they see at the grocery store. I was going to say for here, that's everybody. I know, but, they, but think about it. 
you don't hear from everybody. And no, when you start you seeing don't. strangers, yeah. people you don't normally talk to, the first thought is, oh, I guess people really do care about this. I, I, I have seen governments flip on a dime because I do not 10 disagree people with have showed you. up. But we do not have public transportation, even though I showed up with more than 10 people. Well, that's a dollar issue. I know. But they're still talking about it, though. Uh, they are. They're still so, talking. But I'm just saying, if there's an issue you really care about, like maybe there's too much graffiti or kids are playing their music too you loud. You mean like a bike trail for the kids to be able to ride their bikes this safely? That is on the Capital Improvement Project for next year. I did get sidewalks on 8th Avenue. I guess I should yeah. complain. I'm just saying. So it is. It is. And, and yes. I'm just saying, go. You'd be surprised how fast elected officials back down when there's a lot of people saying or the same up. thing. Or, or they don't know. Or step up. They might not know. That's true. So, so yes, if I, I do not want those notifications. So that's a long way to say I do not want notifications <laughs> of government meetings. I hope no elected officials are watching. You guys, David has a morning talk show, and he says stuff all the time. I tell him he's going to get our house egged. I, I just call I just play it straight. I know. We're going to be have some eggs straight on the side of our house. Mm -hmm. Or We're some toilet come paper. From all sides then, because I, I do not hesitate on any of them. You do not. Patty Girding, we did that about book ban banning, and they still ban the books. Yep. Hang in there, Patty. I promise. Get more people. It will switch. Florida has already talked about walking it back. So, David should run for office, Shelly Sprague said. <laughs> you got jokes, Shelly. No, David's going to work at the warehouse. Carmen Murray says, where can we see all the retiring papers? You guys know what? I'll put up a special post. Lexi did post um, a graphic earlier this week, um, and it has all of the retiring papers in it. There's a second graphic that has the holiday designs, but those are just limited to begin with, right? They're not really retiring. They're just limited. Some of them may come back next holiday. May, maybe. Um, we don't know yet. So I'm just painting these white, you guys. I'm not doing a very good job. I don't want to pull out another can of paint. I'm trying to be cheap with my paint. Dorothy Lage says Monterey, California mayor designated a bench in her name, Dorothy's name, for all the hours that I spent at council meetings. It's oh. true. You got a Pride of Safford award. I did. Not for council meetings, but. No. Shelly Sprague, I want to listen to your radio show. You really don't, um, <laughs> Shelly, but you can. It, we stream it uh, as a podcast at GilaValleyCentral.net, and I will put it in the comments. But, this... but you really don't want to listen because it's it's very it's very localized. Local. But that's where you can hear it. It's called Voice of the Valley. You can hear it there, but it is very localized. And uh, Sweet Pickens, Texas, says yes. Tell us all the crazy stuff you're watching. All right. No. You guys know he's watching? He's watching people get pulled over at night crazy. <laughs> I'm watching police body camera footage. Yes. On the YouTubes. And and it's a it's an emotional roller coaster. I'm gonna say it. It may be the best product out there right now. Because most of the time it's somebody That's not gonna work. going squirrely. Yes, it's somebody going squirrely. And you guys, this is my thing with David. David is the most level person I've ever met, I believe. Like, seriously. When we were dating, I tried to make him mad on purpose just so I could make sure he wasn't going to chop me up and bury me in the backyard. And I was not successful. I still don't know if he ever gets angry. He may. If you guys hear about me disappearing and David having a new pool. Don't say that. I'm going to get arrested. Then. You drive off the side of a road and next thing you know, I'm I'm on death row. No, I mean, if you if you got a new pool, I just want somebody to come check it out. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I know we're kidding. But he, I told him the other day, you are the most hinged person I've ever known. And you're watching all these unhinged people. So <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying... The cops dealing with the drunks or the uh, people that have imbibed a little too much of a substance. Yes. Well, don't say substance. I'm not. 
You'll get me trouble. Get and me those trouble. are kind of funny because, look, inebriated can be funny. The reactions of some people. Yes. Then we watched a few. What was it? It was uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, I was. That one was sad. They were she sad. Was obviously, had mental issues. Yeah, these were people that obviously were struggling with with mental health issues, and and that was kind of sad. And this last one we watched right before we came out. You weren't really watching. No. I'm not saying she was innocent. She wasn't. She was dressed in such a way as to oh, well, they suggest found. she might have a side job. Yes, her side hustle. I wasn't going to use that word. Well, I say my this was my side hustle. This for is a lot your side hustle, but that would be your literal it was side hustle. My side hustle. Um, I'm just painting this out, you guys. So when I decoupage it, um, my artwork will pop. And just in case we have new people, they might yeah. be wondering why. Why is she painting everything? I and, had somebody ask me that. Why? Why do I paint everything? And this this one, they brought the canine in to do a, a drug sniff. There wasn't really a reason to. No, that and one felt kind of sketchy. Like th that one felt, yeah, it was like uh, you guys are. Now maybe the guy she was with, they knew he did have a warrant. Yeah, but the and, car wasn't registered to him. And so police there was know who the people we should be watching for are. Do. Um, but I still think that's a dangerous premise. It is a very dangerous one, and I thought she was making a fairly decent argument. You I really think. didn't have probable cause. Yeah. To go searching my vehicle. But they and did. then they pulled her and they found something. I forgot what, but... Um, Just a quick paint job. We'll let these dry. And then you guys tell me if I should decoupage the... I think I'm going to decoupage the top and the bottom. Because I have floating shelves all over my house. And I know you guys are probably asking, like, what on earth do you do with the floating shelf? But I have a lot of collections. And I love assembling them. Um, and so I can hang these and I can set up a whole assemblage and it's not taking up like surface space, you know, from a piece of furniture in the living room. And so it just allows me to be able to, um, enjoy my collections. And if any of you guys have seen my living room, you've probably seen these, um, with like flower frogs, with my ephemera sticking out of it and maybe some photo frames, um, on it. I should have gotten a picture. I should look for one. Janet Taylor Borgers. I watch those police body camera videos. The disrespect is unbelievable. Yes. I, I find it funny. Okay, turn around. You're under arrest. No. I what? Know. What do you mean, no? And David's mom was a policewoman, too. Uh, so The stuff they have to deal with. Yeah. We had a community meeting um, a few years ago, and we were just trying to determine, like, as a community, what are some things that we could tackle together like to do some collaborative efforts around. And so, you know, you had mental health people. We had the hospital. We had the police department, um, all the social service agencies. And then we have a really good corporate partner here who invests a lot in our community. Free they spend a Macmillan. lot of money in this community. And so we're having this discussion. And the question came up with the offers, like with the officers, like how much of what they deal with is directly like correlative to substance, whether it's alcohol, drugs, anything. They said like 98%. Oh yeah. 98%. That is so crazy. You think about that, the money that small municipalities like ours have to spend um, on stuff like that. Now 98% of it is directly related to substance abuse. I will say our community has turned a little bit of a corner on that. In that, if you're a user, the first thought is, yes. how do we get them help? Yes. Not how do we lock them up. But how do we get them help? How do we get them help? So we have a, our, our presiding judge created a drug diversion court. Yeah. Uh, we have a sober living facility. We've got another, uh, another one on the way, so we'll have two. And then they're also developing a uh, transition home. For those coming out of incarceration. I'm going to focus on just the top for tonight. Because if I try to do the whole thing, we're never going to finish. Yeah. But when I'll, I'll do the whole thing before I take a picture. I said all that to say that watching your videos, I believe them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, because it's not just about the crime, like the break-ins and stuff. It's literally like people just behaving badly. Yeah. Just, just because. Just Yeah. And, and just because they're suffering an addiction. 
and and so that's because they're inebriated, and it. I mean, right. yeah. So I think I think your community meeting something came out of that. Yeah, there's actually a couple of programs that came out of that, and, and we now have a mental health specialist at our county health department, which we didn't have before. That came directly from that meeting. Yep. Yes. So, um, so you can I, I, again to say I'm going to repeat, you can make a difference in your community. I don't care how big your city is. It's just a matter of getting together with enough people. Yes. And you can do it. You can do it. So. You know, I believe that. That was every 10 years I have like an epiphany. And I want to say my 40-year-old epiphany was that one person absolutely can and absolutely does make a difference. Like, can I solve world hunger? Like, no. 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 But... But I can make a difference in my community and I can be involved, um, you know, in, in making ways to getting the... And I think if everybody had that mindset that there would be a lot more that would be done on a larger scale. But that's yeah. all. I'm not going to preach anymore tonight. You know, that reminds me. I've got it on my show. I haven't talked about it in a while. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach again tonight. Do we have any questions before you start preaching? No. Because we're talking a lot. We can't be ignoring our peoples. No. Uh, yes, I'll get to the questions. But let me do this one, <laughs> let me do this one fast because this is a I good one. I tried, y'all. I tried to take care of y'all. Y'all heard me. This is a good one. Okay. You cannot sur- solve world hunger, but you can make a difference in hunger in your community. So here's how, and I promise this one's reasonable. Okay. When you go to the grocery store, if you can, if you got a little bit of cash, you can do this, buy one extra thing. Oh it, yeah. It could be a can of tuna, a small jar of peanut butter. It could be just a package of ramen for a quarter. Um, if you if you got a little bit extra, buy some powdered milk. That's really really important. And then when you bring it home, put it in a box. And yes. if you do that every time you go to the grocery store, the box will fill up. When the box is full, take it to your food bank. If everybody does that, the food bank shelves will never go empty. Yeah. So that's an easy way you can help fight hunger in your community, and without breaking your back yeah without taking from your household right because you got to take care of your kids grandkids yourself your spouse your significant other you your you got to do that sorry so. you guys i decided not to be wasteful and to be more thoughtful about how i'm going to trim this you know what i'm sad baby because i don't have a vertical camera set up see what facebook did so that means i won't be ma- able to make reels from these videos i won't be able to repurpose I them um, i am very sad part of my workflow. Amanda Velderman, how often do you go thrifting each week? I have actually been good lately. I have not been going thrifting um, because... Because you told me I can't get any more G.I. Joe's, so fair is fair. Fair is fair. No, the reality is you have, what, three storages full of stuff? I do. I have a lot of stuff, so I really haven't been going thrifting lately um, because I have a lot. (laughs) And I have a, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Elizabeth Bauer asks, what brand of paint is that? Um, I'm using Wise Owls Chalk Synthesis Paint, but you guys can use whatever paint you have on hand. Um, if you guys are new to my page, um, of course I'm going to promote Recycle Treasures because that's my brand. But um, I'm always going to give you guys alternatives for other things you can use other than what we're using here. So this is just a chalk synthesis paint. And honestly, I'm working on a piece of like upcycled or repurposed wood. I really should be using a white primer. So if you're working on a similar project and you're going to be using like a light, you know, pretty paper and you're wanting something beautiful, um, your best bet is to use a primer, a white primer. If you're using, you know, repurposed wood, just because we have no idea like what that wood has been through. And if you're using your primer to block stains, you guys, You want to let let your primer sit for at least four hours before you go over it with another layer of product. I see a lot of people put their primer on and then um, they go right over it with water-based products and they're upset because it's not blocking the stains. But you really have to let it set in order to do that. Um, Julie Brawley says, hi from Arizona. Hi, Julie. Spent part of the day driving through the mountains looking for wild horses. I can tell you there are wild... um, Havelina? No, I'm just kidding. Burrows. Oh. 
uh, donkeys up in Mojave County, which is the northwest part of the state, especially in the town of Oatman. They'll walk through the town. Really? Yep. It's so kind of like the um, the Rams up in Clifton. Yeah, and Clifton has... Um, is it uh, the Rams? Am I not saying that It's right? uh, bighorn sheep. Oh, are they big horn cheek? They have really pretty horns. And they, they walk up the mountain. Yeah. They're they're like down by Safeway sometimes. No, I know. They'll go up and down, though. Yeah. And you look at it, and you go, nothing can go up or down that. And they oh, do. They do. Because it's almost vertical. They have skills. Shelly Sprague, I tried to get my Alexa to find your podcast. No luck. It is on we'll my company's link. website. So it's not, you can't, it's hidden on the website. That's that's all I can say. We'll put a link. I did. I put it on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, not like a um a, like a broadcast podcast. Correct. So it's not going to be like Spotify. Yeah, it's not or, on Spotify or iTunes or anything like that. Yeah. It's we do it at our radio station, and then we put it up on our station's website, and it's the only place. Uh, Chameleon decoupage by Miriam. There are times I see families in the parking lot of grocery stores. I buy each family member a food item. I've done that. Bought a like a subway sandwich if I see somebody. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I that's my thing. If you can, we were doing rice and beans uh, because they stretch and they store well. Yeah, and and food banks really need powdered milk because you can a if they do get real milk, they can stretch it further. Yes. And b if they don't have real milk, they can add a little water, and at least the kids can have cereal. Yes. So. Um, I like using powdered milk to make cocoa during the Christmas holidays. Yeah. All right. That was all on the Facebooks. Now let me look at the YouTubes. Um, and I'm spritzing my paper and stretching it in advance. So and I'm sure you guys have seen everybody do this tonight. Um, so that when I decoupage, my paper doesn't respond to my decoupage medium. So I don't get wrinkles. Uh, let's see, Jan on YouTube says, are any new stencils coming in the new paper collection? So, um, we're going to have the new paper first, and then, uh, we will have new stencils, but I don't know when. <laughs> we will, though. I'm super excited, too, because they're going to be interesting. They're going to be good. Like, I'm excited about the new stencils. Uh, Amber Demekowitz, I got some very old newspapers. Thought of you, Royce. Hey, save the comics. <laughs> the old comics? I would love... I, seriously, let's talk. I love the old newspaper comics. Back when they were, like, a big deal. Mm. Remember when New York suffered a newspaper strike, when all the writers and photographers went out on strike, um, Mayor LaGuardia... Or no, it was delivery. It was I don't know if it was writers. It was it was delivery guys when oh. on strike. Mayor LaGuardia went on the radio and read the comics. Oh wow! To the kids. Aww. And to adults because comics used to be for adults in the newspaper too. So there are some great ones. Ruru too. I love those police body cameras. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sweet Pickens, it's Texas. It's just funny. You guys, it's just, it just seems, it just doesn't seem like you, David Bell, would watch those. I just I think it's through, hilarious. You know I go through phases. I know. I, I went through a cosplay phase for a while. I just kept watching cosplay videos. Yeah. And then I went through, I went through a little NASA phase. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, yeah. Well, you might have been working at your desk. And I was learning all about the planets in our solar system. My poor husband, you guys, when I'm hyper-focused, like all he sees is the back of my head. <laughs> I can see your hair sticking out over the credenza. <laughs> Ruru too. once you watch a few of them, you get lots in your feed. I was getting lion and tiger attacks for a while. Oh, wow. Lions yeah. and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Amber says, I have a small apartment complex, was going to turn into sober living. But insurance is through the roof. A lot of issues, but it has uh, been on my heart. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We're lucky we have a nonprofit that does that with the help of our courts, with the help of our law enforcement. Yes, it took a lot of partners to make yeah, that happen. All of our governmental agencies are partners in it. Um, same thing with our homeless, a homeless respite center. Yes. So... 
And yeah, so Amber, if I had people or churches this. that would partner with me, I'd do it. Our, our community is really, really lucky because almost all of the faiths here belong to a group. Yeah, the, the Interfaith Care Alliance. Uh, Ministerial Association. Oh. what if was the Interfaith Care Alliance? I have no idea. But it's Maybe the it's Ministerial something. Association that's behind the homeless shelter. Mm. And mm -hmm. um, and they work together. I, yes. Give them credit. I'm, now, it, look, it's not like we're mixing, you know, Jews and Muslims. It's all various face, facets of Christianity here. Because we don't have a we don't have any temples or mosques. No. But still, some faiths may not get along with others, but here they do. They do. Look, I want my creepy hand on my clipboard, you guys. I think he should be like writing in the right direction, though. So I think I'm gonna do it this way. But then I want this too. I gotta make a decision, though. Ugh. Verla Cooks and McDonald asks, do you spritz all your decoupage papers? I do now. It's like my, it's part of, you know, in my membership, we talked about this. When, when, you, because when you start creating, like you're ever evolving, right? So if you see one of my older videos, you probably see that I'm not spritzing my decoupage paper. But now, I pretty much all the time. Pretty much. And Flea said, on one project I use spritzing, the other iron on. She said spritzing works so much better. Yeah, I really do. I, I've always said I liked the traditional or the wet method of decoupaging. Um, I just feel like, to me, I like it better. Oh man, I had to cut my fish's tail. Um, and the spritzing really does help to really get your paper to lay down and to not respond to your um, decoupage medium, because that's what happens generally when you get wrinkles. It's because your paper, when it comes in contact with your water-based product, it starts stretching and that's what causes the wrinkles. So when you spritz it in advance and you stretch your paper, then it doesn't respond to the decoupage medium. And so you don't get those wrinkles. And so it really is worth it. If you've like tried it and it didn't quite work, um, it's worth it to try it again because if you can get it down, it really is effective. And Man's, Min's Cass and Verla Cooks and McDonald both say the same thing. Comic section, wrapping paper in a pinch. Oh yeah, Miss Harper, not even in a pinch, Miss Harper wraps. Yeah. <laughs> she will wrap in. Um, oh, Barbara Garrels, you had, we need, we need to pray for Barbara. We don't pray for Barbara. Why this is my same place tonight. There have been seven teenagers, 16 to 18, here since Friday. Sweet oh. mother of Pearl. Well, that age, though, well, they think they know everything, but, you know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You guys see me trimming pretty closely because I don't want to have, like... I don't want to wrestle with extra pieces of paper and the paper responds differently. So if I spritz the section that I'm decoupaging and I don't spritz the rest, then that paper isn't stretching and it's going to be tension around the edges. And I just don't like that. So I like to cut mine leaving like a quarter of an inch at the most um, around the edges so that I don't have to contend with that. And I am going to leave this overhang up here up top and then I'll just use... Um, should I? And then I'll just use my knife and cut that after it's done. Amanda Velderman says, the video on your homepage has the wrong privacy setting, so it cannot be viewed. I was trying to find out about the class that one of the retailers was mentioning earlier. Is that available on the site? I, if a retailer was mentioning it early tonight, it's probably available on their page. Which class was it? I wonder what doesn't have a right privacy setting. It must be in the group. Sometimes I'll share, like if I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see a post that I think is relevant for the Recycle Upcycling with Decoupage group, I'll share it in the group. But if they're private, like if it's a private group and I don't realize it's a private group, it may not show to people who are not a part of that group. Um, so if it's unavailable, I probably shared it from somebody's group, not realizing it. But um, if somebody earlier mentioned it, it may be a class that they, I know LaRonda was having a class. Um, and I think Kathy 
has classes on a regular basis. Most of the retailers do. Speaking of which, if you're a retailer and you are on tonight, please, please, please put your links in the comments. I've gotten a lot of messages today of customers looking for retailers. So um, if you guys will put the link to your recycled decoupage paper on the right here in the comments, that'll be super helpful. Oh, Flea has a family Zoom meeting. She has to pop off. Have fun, Flea. Have a good night, Flea. Uh, Mary Spriette said, I had a problem with the paper tearing when I spritz it. I tried to, tried to get it barely wet. Um, I don't know. Because I don't... <clears throat> Did you wet it just a little bit? Yes, the master class is what Amanda said. Oh, is it the decoupage master class? So that is available at RoyCycledAcademy.com. Do I have that on here? Aunt B's Attic said, yeah, she mentioned that the master class is well worth taking. Okay. So um, if you're on YouTube, I think, maybe I mean, if you're not on your phone, if you're on another device watching, this is a QR code that will take you to, um, it's like a little mini website and it has multiple links on it. And one of the links is the RoyCycled Academy and um, that's where you can find the decoupage masterclass is on there. And you guys can also find my Amazon shop there too. Kathleen O'Brien Uva says, I forget the names of most of the names of the old comics. High and Lois, Andy Cap, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Dennis the Menace, what other ones? I like the older ones that are older than me. Um... I started reading the newspaper comics in the 60s. I like the ones from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, Tarzan, Prince Valiant, Flash Gordon. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Steve Canyon. It's okay. A lot of people love Alex Raymond. It's not my favorite. Um, there was a Western one. And see, when I think Lattimore? of Clifford the dog, I think of books I read to the kids, not yeah. comics. That's funny. Um, I, I think Clifford is the storybooks. I think she might be thinking of Marmaduke. Oh, yeah, Marmaduke was comics. <clears throat> I remember him. Um, so I like I like the adventure comics a little bit more. Um, and then, of course, Superman was, was a great comic strip for a long time. Batman, too. They were fun comic strips. I'm so sad this design is retiring. I love this paper. Of course I love it. It's perfectly weird like me, but... <laughs> it took me forever to design this one, too. There's so many elements in here, but I loved every minute of it. Oh, and there was a Cisco Kid comic strip I've never read. I want to pick up a couple of those books. Oh, okay. Um, I could set this aside, huh? Amber Demakowitz, I like Tarzan. I, I'm all in on Tarzan right now. I just picked up, uh, well, not just. It was about six months ago, eight oh, months he's ago. I'm trying to clean it up. I see you. No, 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 no. I've been, you, have you gotten a package from I, David Bell recently? Not here at the house. All right, fair enough. That's a good point. Work. Fair enough. But no, I have not. Um, but I got the first issue of Tarzan's comic book from the 19, I think it would have been 1942. Uh, I got it for a steal. I mean, I really did. Should I put the lock on you guys, or should I just do the wood? We're on, what, what should we call it, baby? We're on a, a spending fast. Yeah. Yes, we are. We're being very, uh, we're being frugal. Furla Cooks and McDonald, I love the graphics. I'm assuming you mean on Royce's paper and yes. not on the comics that David has been talking about. Julie Brawley says, what are you decoupaging? She came in a little late. Um, this is just, um, what do we, a riser that we made with some leftover butcher block and some little bits we had left over from Spindle projects because I never throw away wood <laughs> for better or for worse. Oh, this is good. Dior Design and Decor, she put her link. She said, I have more voices papers than are listed. I just do the website myself. She hasn't posted all of them yet, but has tons which hopefully means some of the ones that are being retired. Yes. So. And you guys, we've retired a lot of designs. So 
sometimes um, I send paper out to like um, influencers all the time and I really don't have any control over what they use. So sometimes they'll use something that's been retired for a long time and people are like upset because they can't find it. So if you guys see a paper that you like um, and it's retiring, you really want to grab it because um, we won't be producing it anymore. And I know a lot of retailers do have the retired design. Uh, Men's Kez, I don't know if she's referring this to the reta retailers or to you. Would the retailers prefer purchasing through their Facebook page link or their Etsy shop? Um, honestly, I think if whatever works for you as a customer is what they prefer. Amanda Valderman, unretire it. I'm retired. <laughs> I can't. You guys, we have new designs coming and you know, we've we're already designing for the holidays. Like there's so much new stuff coming, so we have to make room. Wendy Kramer did say this. Now, this may go without saying, but I don't know that I've heard you mention this in a while. What? Um, I learned to spray the printed side and not the back that that may stop tearing. Um, I don't know because honestly, it's funny. Everyone has their preference because I watch uh, a lot of my retailers and a lot of people create and some of them prefer to spray the back. Some prefer to spray the top. So like, I don't know. I really do think it's a matter of preference and how you work. I just spray the top because it's just easy. I mean, not for any particular reason, but I know that some of the retailers actually, they prefer to spray underneath. So I don't know, but I think I heard Kathy mention earlier that she prefers to spray the top because she feels like it's less likely to tear. Um, Amanda says, how do you determine which to retire? Based on sales, honestly. I thought this one would sell way more than it did, and it just didn't. So honestly, the customers kind of decide what retires, and it's a combination of things because I know that I serve a segment of people who um, are not really represented in our niche. So I have a lot of like industrial designs. Um, so even though my industrial designs may not be like the top, top sellers, I still keep them because I know I'm serving that audience. Um, same thing with like our cowgirl stuff, you know. It, so we have farmhouse, we have um, cowgirl, cowboy, we have... Um, um, industrial and grungy and then we have like pretty so we have all these categories and so within the categories the things that don't sell well in each category are the ones who are retired if that makes sense um petty girding again the name of your youtube page is roy cycles and rima becara is your master class on the website or on facebook my master class is actually all on the website so um, it, all the videos are pre-recorded. They're all cut down to like manageable length. So you won't be watching an hour and a half video with people chit-chatting. It's super concise. Um, everything is organized. You get a workbook um, with that course. And anybody who takes a course from me also has an opportunity to be in the Roy Cycled Creative Besties group. And it's a group that I set up because we would... Every time I do a course, we do like these pop-up groups in Facebook. And I always felt so sad when we were closing the group, you know, because you, you're like hang out with people for six weeks and you chit chat and then you close the group and that's it. So um, if you're taking any courses, you do have an opportunity to be in the Roy Cycle Creative Besties group. Um, but everything is on your dashboard. All your videos, your workbook, all of your resources are there. So oh, Kathleen Hoover said, yes, it was Marmaduke. Um, let's see. Artistically mine, my favorite is Calvin and Hobbes. Great strip, great strip. Uh, and, and odd in that the creator just decided, eh, I'm done. That's and it. retired and never did another thing. Bill Watterson, Watterson, Watterson has just decided, I'm done. I mean, he's doing other things, but he's not doing that. And he's never yeah. gone back to it. He's done. Yeah. So you guys, on this one in particular, we're actually wrapping. So I'm going to be wrapping this all the way around to the edges. So you guys saw me uh, make these creases right here. So my plan is to decoupage everything down and then to go back and kind of cut these off. Kind of like little, um, what do you call these when you're sewing? I forget what they're called. 
and we're gonna cut them off. That way we have a nice clean kind of miter at the corners. That is my plan. We're gonna see if it works. Um, Paige Komar says, do you draw out all your own papers? I design, I'm not, so blah, blah, blah. I do not design, I design the majority of my papers. I do partner with artists on some of them. So like Lexi Grenzer, you guys know that um, the, um, what do you call it? The landscapes that we have are by artist Ricky Schumacher. Um, there was a piece that was shared inside the Recycled Upcycling with Decoupage group from one of our artists um, who, Lord forgive me, because I cannot think of her name right now. I see all of her art clearly, but for some reason her name is not popping in my head. If somebody knows, help me out. Um, so uh, we used to, we highlight artists and then some of the designs are mine. So it just depends. Oh, Vintage Dame says, ditto on what Dior Design said. I have more Royce papers than listed on my website, too, because it's just her doing everything. We get that. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. That, perfect. This is the time to really get to know your retailer. And you guys, mm -hmm. I always, um, I know um, some of my customers, because they'll reach out to me and I'll ask them if they have a recycled retailer. And this is why I think it serves you to have like a retailer because they can be your partner in crime in your creative journey. So you're working on a project and something is going wrong. You can't really figure it out. You can reach out to them and most of them will be happy to help you. Oh, or um, you know there's new products coming out. Recycled insiders always find out about the new designs first. And so like you know what designs are coming out and you have a relationship with your retailer so you can let them know ahead of time that you plan on buying this, you know, the design that you want to buy. So like get you a partner in crime so they can help you out. And not even with just a recycled, but most of them carry other products as well. Right. A few people said darts. Thank you. Darts. That's what I was trying to think yep. of. Uh, Paige Komar says uh, her ex's grandfather wrote Marmaduke. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Uh, Amber DeMackwitz, yeah, I'm trying to be very fugal right now to myself. We get it. We, we have an end, though. We have light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we're just um, behind the scenes of Recycled. We're making a lot of moves, and they're big for us. They're big moves. And so we're having to really reserve capital because we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Yes. Uh, Paige also says Etsy charges them fees to sell. So if they do have a website, that's probably a better way to go with your favorite retailer. Hey, whatever whatever saves everybody the most money. Yeah. Uh, Artistically Mind says love the industrial designs. Paige says the same. Kathy Jackson, me too. Industrial clocks and steampunk. Yeah. Uh, Amber says she's going to do a piece soon in your typo geography paper. Ooh. Kathy Jackson says also rusty crusty. Yes, rusty gold. That's what we like. Uh, and Amber is working on painting with glass and resin. Ooh. We had, oh, one of our retailers on one of our marathons did a project like that. And I think, I want to say she used the octopus. If you guys remember the jellies, I think that's one of the ones that's actually being retired is the jellies. And she did the resin in the glass over the top of it with the colored glass. It was so beautiful. And so I'm just going to wrap this and then I'm going to trim it. You are at 7.05, but we did get a very late start tonight. I know. So I'm making a really good time, though, because I've decoupaged everything. I'm like speedy today. I just want to make sure that it's okay with everybody because we did start late and tech has been tech. We 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 got we made we it might through. go a little late. We made it through. We got it together. Look, I'm not even irritated anymore. And let's face it, we're not gonna go get uh, food tonight. No. Because we are we are full. Seriously full. I know. So we go to my son's house for Sunday dinner for, we go to the grill master's house and let's see, steak, asparagus, chips and dip to start with, baked potato, they mac made, and cheese. What was the stuff they made in the one bowl? The queso. Yeah, queso. 
was a dip. Yeah. That's oh, like was a queso. Okay. Yeah. And he made butter that he didn't pull out. He made like a. a... Well, he puts that on the steaks. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's oh, the compound okay. Because I saw him put it in the fridge, but I didn't see him take it out. He puts it on the on the yeah. steaks. He's got a new grill. But I mean, the thing is that they eat like young folks. Like I don't eat like that anymore. I, I ate that whole steak. I know, you did. You ate the whole steak. And like how many servings of mac and cheese? Five servings of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and and I'm really, really full. I don't eat that much. Last night, you know, last night I had one rib. One rib. I ate good last night. Maybe, you know. We stopped uh, at a barbecue place and we got a rack of ribs. We figured we'd split it. We got a baked potato. We figured we'd split that. I did eat my half of the potato. Yeah. Um. I ate one rib, and I was full. Maybe that's why I ate a whole steak today. Maybe. Ooh, I just love this. See, I'm so sad. Look, I'm sad they're all retiring, but <laughs> I just thought this would sell more. Maybe it's because it's so specific with the red and the blue, but I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead Everybody and fill this. Everybody wants to see how you're going to do the corners. Oh, man, I tore my paper. Um, I'm just going to cut them, I think. I'm going to have to dry this really, really good before I even mess with those corners, though. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this and set it aside, and we're going to come back to this. So Amber said, I did a pretty hard for my mom for her birthday. Can't do the resin. I cannot find the food tents. I have not to get junk in resin. Um, I'm going to guess there was some spell. Yeah, I'm know, trying to like, correct decipher. There. Yeah. Kathy Jackson says she's looking for an old-fashioned steam train. Are you talking about a physical one, like a toy train or, you know, O-gauge, N-gauge, or are you talking about trains on paper? We have a couple of designs that have steam trains on them. I, I, I happen to have, <sighs> you know, I say I'm steampunk-ish because I'm not like all out steampunk. Do you still have any of those mesh stencils? I do. Wasn't there a train in one of them? There was. It's like an old, um, it's an old steam engine ad. So Royce experimented with this one way to do stencils. And I, what was it? It wasn't cost effective? It wasn't cost effective. I couldn't find a producer who could make it in a way that was cost effective. And um, they're on my website. They're screen print stencils. They're huge. And they're basically at cost right now. I mean, which means I'm selling them for what I paid for them because it just, I just couldn't. And there aren't a ton of them. So it's, it's why they've never really been offered to the retailers is no. because you got in like basically a sample. It was a big sample though. It was, but yeah. And it just, there was just no way to make it cheap enough for the retailers to sell it cheap enough yeah, it wouldn't make sense to for the users. customers at that price point. It, it, just were, it, it was just too pricey. So if you're looking for a steam engine, I like maybe the that's the way to go. It, it's a cool looking thing. It is. But it, it really doesn't. Is. But does it have the reuse that your current stencils have? No, and that's part of the... The, the screen print stencils are wonderful because you can get detail that you can't get in a Mylar stencil. That's why we love them. But you really only have like five uses out of it. So unless you're gonna like, if you like, like if you stretch it and use it like a, like if you're gonna use it to make a whole bunch of things. Like if you're a maker and you're making something, and you put it over a screen, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like um, a framed screen where you're basically like using it to make a whole bunch of stuff right away. Mm. It, you can get a lot more uses out of it. But the problem is with the screen, it's like little tiny, it's a screen. So you wash it. Um, most people don't really take good care of them as part of it, but you can use them multiple times, but you don't have, I mean, the Mylar stencils, you can take care of them and use them for like ever, forever. Not forever, but you know, close. Uh, let's see. Lady Poe says, my hubby wants to say hi. And he wants you to know that you make very pretty paper. Thank He's supportive you. of her crafting. So you and Lady Poe have that in common. I'm supportive of my wife getting rich. <laughs> so that, to get him started. So that I could be a kept man. <laughs> I'm supportive of my wife being a sugar mama. Uh, Amanda Velderman says, how many papers do you secretly 
have saved in your staff? Oh, you don't even want to know, girl. You don't even want to know. We were having a discussion. And for me, I have a lot of papers in my stash. Um, Dorothy, I don't know if Dorothy is still here. Dorothy used to live, she moved further away from us, but she used to live in a neighboring county. And she <laughs> brought me a rack that they used to probably use. For, I don't know what that rack, what do you think would be on that rack, babe? The one that I have in my room. It's like four across and it's about 11 down with yeah. the different compartments. Probably a dozen. Um, anyways. Because nothing's ever an odd number. Yeah, that's true. But I use that to store a lot of my papers. And then I had a file cabinet that I just gave up to the warehouse and sent it over. File cabinet is a really good way to store paper, you guys. Because you can label your design and look through your file cabinet. And it was one of the ones that go sideways. So, you know, you get like a ton of storage. Um, so, yes, I have a lot of paper. <laughs> Uh, Joan Volkman, maybe you should make a paper that looks like old, chippy, white, weathered boards. I know. I thought about it. The white is just really hard to, um, because it's tissue paper, I'm always worried. I don't know. I've, I've contemplated it. I actually have several designs that I've made. I just haven't launched them. But um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe the red and the blue were too specific. I was thinking, like, you know... It'd be close to like Chevy blue and red. I love that combination. I think, you know, a warm light blue and red are a beautiful combo. But I guess everybody did not. And you guys, I'm just trimming the paper. You'll notice that I'm only going straight down. Um, this is just a sanding block. I think this one is probably like a 220 grit, um, which I think is perfect because it works really fast but it doesn't score your paper like maybe a 180 grit would. And when you're buying sandpaper, the lower the number, the bigger the grit is on your sandpaper, so the rougher it is. So when you get up to like 330, that's a really fine sandpaper. Just as a Ruru2 posted something asking me if I watched it, and then it disappeared. Oh. So I'm not sure what you were asking me if I watched. It says retracted the comments. So oh. I've done that where I've commented on something. It's like, oh, wait, I need to edit that. So I pull it back. And then, I might have time to do the bottom of this. Alyssa Bricker Visithin had steak and risotto for dinner tonight. Oh, that sounds really good. I love risotto, but I do not have the patience to make it. I'm going to try to see. You guys, I have like tens of thousands of pictures on my phone. It is insanely ridiculous. I have a one terabyte iPhone and it is like full. <laughs> and I have six terabytes of like cloud storage. It, I'm just ridiculous. It's because of so much content that I create. Um, you guys see all my reels that I post on my Facebook page and my Instagram and TikTok. I generally try to post at least two or three times a day. But that's a lot of content. David, have you watched Soft White Underbelly on YouTube? It's addicting. I have not. I don't know what that is. What is that? Yeah. I'm trying to find a picture of one of my floating shelves. Uh, Lynn Arand, one. or Arand, the earlier video, she's playing catch up. The earlier video mentioned the Royce Masterclass. Yes, it's available. It's on the website. There's a link to it. So if you go to here, let me um, put up the QR code. Yeah, this is the QR code that will take you to like a mini website that has multiple links of all my places. And the master class is on the Roy Cycled Academy. Um, and there are other classes on there, too. And if you're in the membership um, and you're wanting to take the class, just wait, because I believe your 20% off coupon goes out in the email on Tuesday because those who are in the Roy Cycle membership group get 20% off of past, future, past, present, and future classes. Should I? I sealed this already, didn't I? I did. I sealed this already. Don't you guys think that's going to look really cool with the wood? I almost feel like I need to do something with this edge, though. Let's... Um, Let's try some dark wax. I think that'll be good. I think that'll do what I need it to do. So we'll use some dark wax on this. And so I've already sealed my paper with my water-based sealer. 
And so that's why I'm comfortable using wax over the top of this. I think I'm going to do another layer though. Let me just do another quick layer, make sure um, that my paper is sealed really well. I get questions a lot about whether or not, um, you know, it's okay to use tissue paper on your furniture, like how sturdy it's gonna be. If you're using a quality sealer, you won't have problems with your decoupage paper. Um, make sure that it's tacked down really well and that you're using the proper sealer over the top of it. Because if you think I, if you think about how thin paint is, it's not much thicker than tissue, right? It's really thin, but the binders that are in the paint is what makes it um, stay on for so long. And so we're basically putting a clear version of those binders over the top of our decoupage paper. So that's what's going to keep it from um, getting jacked. Well, Pamela Culp Adair said uh, she's done that type of quilting on a decorative pillow. Oh, bless you, girl, because I don't have the patience. I watched Carmen um, do these, and I know it takes a lot of time. But yes, I, w I wish I could show you guys. There's so much texture in this paper, like visual texture. It just doesn't, um, I don't think you can see it when you're looking at it digitally, though. So I want to put wax on top of this. So I just want to make sure everything is sealed really well. And then we're going to go over this with some wax. What time is it? 7.24. Aw, oh, man. I got 7.18. Okay. We'll, we'll go with your time. I think my tablet is... is your t I know. We need to get you a new tablet. Yeah. So, yeah. 7.24 on my phone. Why is my tablet six minutes behind? I don't know. It's in, the, it's in the another dimension. That's what it is. Carol Kincaid said, I decoupaged my frame around my blackboard. It held up very well. Yeah. I mean, I have stuff in the yard, y'all, that I've decoupaged. And there's one thing that I think a, a lot of us forget, and that is most clear coats, top coats, sealers, we're using different words, but it really means the same thing, right? Um, need 30 days to cure fully. And so sometimes someone will decoupage something and seal it or even paint it and seal it and then put it to full use right away. But you really want to give your products 30 days to cure fully before you really get the full protection. And that's most um, sealers. Now I'm using Wise Out's varnish tonight, so that's absolutely the case. But with the one hour enamel, you get like, it cures really, really fast. That's why we love, one of the reasons why we love the one hour enamel. Uh, it's like 80% cured after seven days, I think, but it still takes 30 days to get to 100%. Um, but that's just something to think about. So if you do your, your decoupage, you can't go right over it right away and expect to have that protection. And if you're using it for a tabletop, you want to use an appropriate sealer and you probably want to do three coats, right? To make sure that you really put um, a good layer of protection over the top. And if you're putting multiple layers, you have to dry in between your layers. If you're just going right over the second and the third time and everything is still wet, you're really not adding any, any additional protection. You're just moving more stuff around. So when you're adding layers, be sure that you um, dry in between your layers so that you're really adding additional um, protection and not just moving around what you've already laid down. Lady Poe says, is it normal for some of the papers to vary in color? I bought two of the vintage advertisement paper and one had a yellow hue, one is pink. So with our current manufacturer, yes. That's all I can say about that. But it will be rectified soon. There is one word that I think everybody should pay attention to in that sentence. Just think so about it. from run to run, um, there are variances that can be up to like 20%, um, which is what, you know, the number we've been given by our manufacturer. I don't have my, my big wax brush over here for somewhere. I think it's in the house. So I'll just use this. And you guys, I have brushes that are set aside for me to use with wax. Like I don't. If I have a brush that I've used with wax, that's all I use that brush for. And I know people say you can wash it out, but if you're using an, like a wax and oil-based wax, I just don't feel like I'm ever gonna get that brush fully clean. And I don't wanna have 
have any mess ups with your paint jobs. So I just, I love this one for wax because I can get into all the places with it. All my crevasses. <laughs> I'm being a dork. All my crevices. But um, normally I would use my big wax brush with this, but I can't find it. Ruru2 says, um, it's a famous photographer who has an office on Skid Row, but interviews all types of people. I'm a guessing. I'm guessing that's soft white underbelly. Oh, probably. All right, well, check it out. Okay. Lady Poe says, "Just curious. Definitely still use them because she loves them. Is that yes. one? Is vintage advertisement coming off? Nope." That one's not we, we were because I, I was looking for that one today, right? It was just yes, in a different it's place. So, no, it's sold out. Oh, sold out. It's okay. sold out. Yeah. Gotcha. So we have retailers who've been ordering from the warehouse, and you guys bought all. I am completely, I completely sold out of corrugated metal. Um, it was so fast. <laughs> um, so if you guys are looking for corrugated metal, you better get with your retailer because. I don't have, I mean, I can order more, but I don't have any more in the warehouse right now because you guys bought it all. Um, yeah, but there are some designs that are like standards, right? Like I feel like people are always going to use them and the vintage ads is kind of one of them. If I ever pull it, I'll probably replace it with something similar. Um, so until I get hit with an idea that is different enough, that one probably won't retire. Amanda, you are very astute. Just leave it at that. Yes. Um, so I just basically put the wax on. Now I'm going to wipe it off any of the excess. But I like to do this. So you guys saw how um, when sometimes when you um, use your, your um, sanding block on the edges, you can pull off the the ink from the paper and you're left with a white edge, you can either use wax, right, to, to, to knock that back so it's not super bright, or you can even use like a dark ink and go around with an ink pad to take care of that too. And so, because I'm leaving this wood on the front, I didn't want to necessarily use an ink, but I think that this wax is gonna do what I need it to do, to just knock that white back so it's not like super can I uh, just say I do not like being here in your studio because it makes my skin look like uh, wax paper. Why? I don't know. I get no. I just looked and I'm like, oh man, those are old man hands. <laughs> my hands are. I, I can feel see like, everything through here. I feel like COVID ruined my hands. I think my hands aged like ten years from all like the alcohol, you know, and yeah. the chronic washing because. I was freaked out. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I washed my hands, but I was just doing a little much. Uh, well, when I was dealing with that eczema breakout, oh, yeah. that was my big issue with my uh, dermatologist. I was like, dude, I gotta wash my hands. Oh, I know. Not like OCD, but. Yeah. And so, that's, if we learned anything from COVID, it's wash your hands. Yes. That's a good idea all the time. And you know what, though? I didn't, I like, I thought soap killed germs. Like, I really did. I thought soap killed germs. It does not. All it does is make them water soluble so you can rub them off your hands. Oh, I thought that's why we got the antibacterial soap. Well, antibacterial soap does kill germs. But remember, they stopped, they stopped um, producing it, saying it was causing more problems. Yeah. And then during COVID, we couldn't really find any. So you can buff your wax like um, this surface. You guys see it's kind of shiny, right? I can keep buffing this and I can make it super shiny. But you guys know I don't like super shiny. So I'm going to stop buffing that because I don't want it to be shiny. But I think that this with the natural wood looks really, really cool. Um, I like it a lot. And so the reason why I want to do the bottom, I was going to try to show you guys a picture. Um, I did post a reel today as a matter of fact so if you guys look on my reels on my page you'll see it um and i showed you guys how i use these in my house and so i have one of them that's pretty high up on the wall which means you can see the bottom so i'm going to decoupage the bottom of this as well so that it matches the top i think I'm, i might decoupage the sides too we'll see what happens so uh, that's that one 
And let's do the little riser because I know everyone's curious to see how I'm going to trim that one. It is 7.30. I know. Flea says I used one of your white papers over raw wood. It turned transparent. So pretty. And Verla McDonald says, what's the name of that paper? The one you just put down. This is the, the Sashiko is the name of the blue one. And Carol Kincaid, we still have to wash our hands way too much. I still much. wash my hands, but I mean. Well, she has cats and dogs, so they have to. Oh, okay. I just, I was, y'all don't even know. And honestly, so for those of you who, I don't know, you guys probably all know this, but before, in my prior life, before I did motorcycle full time, I was the executive director of a nonprofit and we served homebound seniors. And so we provided in-home services. Um, we now have our senior center open. So we have like a nutrition site, Meals on Wheels, things like that. So for us, it felt like life or death, like literally every day because we were still sending staff out because some of our seniors you know um well we know this with with covid we know this with flu the most vulnerable yes. are seniors the very young and uh those with compromised immune systems yes i sit on our board that deals with those with special needs yes who generally have com uh, compromised immune systems. Yeah. So both of our nonprofits were dealing with the exact same thing. Yeah. And so just being super cautious, like I just, the, the level of stress, I think I aged 10 years. <laughs> Between 2020 and 2022. And honestly, you guys, crafting saved my life. Like I saved my sanity. I do believe that. My poor husband, I had a fold-up table that was up in the living room 24 seven. It was a permanent fixture because- There was room for your mom to get a wheelchair through. I know. So that was good. It started off being my live table for Facebook Lives, but it ended up being kind of my workshop space. Um, my husband was all too happy when I came up with the idea of buying this building to put in our backyard. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna snip these edges. I think that's gonna be the best course of action is just to snip these edges and then um, go back in and decoupage any like loose pieces that are still sticking up. And uh, that way my wood looks seamless. Artistically mine says, I wonder if hollow core doors could be used like the drawer. Ooh, that would be a good idea because you could slice it and make a couple. You just have to make sure and put wood on the front and the back of that. And um, I don't know, you guys, there's the, the reel is up so you guys can see exactly like how we made it and how we hung them. And um, they're really sturdy. I mean, I have three in the living room right now. Um, and they all have like, you know, my little assemblages of stuff on them. Cause it doesn't do any good to like collect all the cool stuff if you're just going to shove it in storage somewhere. So my coolest stuff that I love, I display it at my, on my house. Uh, Kathleen Huvis, how do you hang the floating shelves? You know what, Kathleen, I, I posted a reel today, um, on the Roy Cycle Treasures page, or if you follow me on Instagram, it's over there too, showing you exactly how we hung it. So, um, it's super sturdy, like it's not moving. It could probably, I mean, it could probably hold about 50 pounds. It can't hold more than that, but that's plenty, right, for displaying things. But it's a quick video. It's like a minute and 20 seconds. And it shows you exactly how we built it and how we hang them. Oh, uh, Amanda Velderman says, Impy's Attic still had some of the Shashiko, Sashiko. Yes. Today. Uh, Jim Visithin, wax on the wood grain, looks fire. Thank you. Susan Steinberg Prentice says, I think we all age 10 years. You're not alone. I know, right? Um, stress really does. Um, stress is, a, I mean, like I know that. I know stress can really affect you physically, but um, the older I get, I guess the more aware I am of it because I can, I'm just more self-aware and I can feel stress on my body. Carol Kincaid, it was so much stress with COVID. We were so careful, put our guard down and got it. It was horrid, never oh. wanted again. I, you know, the whole thing was to try and minimize exposure. Yeah. And because we got it. And I know we got it in December of 2020. Yeah. Um, David and I were both, um, what do they call us, baby? 
We still had to go to work. We were what? Oh, essential workers. We were essential, which I was grateful for because we got to leave the house. Yeah, journalists are essential workers as long as you like journalists, I guess. Most and, people don't, so it's okay. And, of course, our work was essential because we were doing shopping and everything for our homebound people. Um, which I was so proud of our community. I know I came on your show and cried like a big old baby. That came up on my, on my um, feed a little while ago. Um, well, last year, but when you invited me on the show to talk about the good things, because we had our municipalities, let's see, we had our corporate partners who came up to do a match for local businesses who wanted to do like... Um, well, we did, um, it was one of the boards I sit on, uh, came up with gift, certif uh, yes. gift certificates. And uh, the stores had to contribute. Yeah, it was a match though. It, it was a $10 gift certificate the store the municipalities and our corporate partners paid five dollars mm -hmm. and then the owner the store had to come up with two sold it for ten yes so the store made made money on it yes so they they basically sold a ten dollar gift card for ten, two dollars well, a customer paid ten dollars. Right, but they yeah, but they only had to pay ten. Yeah, they, you know, it only cost them two dollars for yes for that. Um, and quite frankly, we had our we had record sales numbers. Yes, those two years. And then the municipality set up drive up places in town so people could drive up and pick up from the restaurants. Yep, so like there was a lot of effort to keep businesses open. Um, I was able to negotiate with the stores for the vehitas to be able to come in and come shopping early in the morning before right. the big crowds got there because everything was being sold out so fast. A lot of my people just weren't even getting a chance. To right, get and it. they don't move quickly. Yeah. So, yeah, they got their own hour of shopping. And then we had a closet at Seekus, and so people were donating toilet paper and all the stuff that was selling out. And so we were able to, I, it, there was just, I, I love, I'm going to cry. Yeah, the community door. just stepped up big time. And it's just, community is so incredibly important. And I know people are really people-y and they work our nerves, but, you know, when you have a community, um, like, you don't want to wait until there's a catastrophe to try to build community. Like, it doesn't work like that, right? The community, and when I say community, I don't mean, like, the town you live in. It's the people, right? It's the relationships that you have. It's the institutions that are there that make up the community, and when you have that and something happens, um, I think you're more apt to have people want to take care of each other. Uh, Lady Poe, crafting is my happy place. I have severe anxiety. When I have my hands and mind on a project, there's peace. Yes, exactly. Uh, Linda Melman, I was distracted looking at Royce's papers. What sealer did you use on the black white paper? Was it a wax? Um, yeah, I, so I sealed it with a water-based varnish and I dried that and then I went over it with a dark wax because the edges were really light and I didn't like that. So the dark wax just helped knock that back. And I also added wax to my wood grain too. Joan. And this is Annie Sloan's dark wax, by the way. I mean, I have tape over it because... Joan Volkman, is the Soshiko paper being retired? Yes. Yes, the Soshiko is being retired. Um... Again, it, I didn't see people buying it, and I didn't people see people using it, so um, it came off the rotation to make room for new stuff. Kathleen Hoovis, can you show us how to fix the little tear you have on the edge? Yes, I will show you how I'm going to address that. Um, yeah, let me, let me um, get my edges done real quick, and then we'll do that, and then we'll sign off, because my husband's giving me the side eye over here. We started really late, baby. We did. Lady Poe, my husband and I both were able to escape until 2022. Both got it on Christmas Day. That's when oh, we had it. We had to Zoom with the kids on. Well, we would have had to Zoom anyways, but um, with two of our them. little, um, what, do we, what do they call them? Our little cluster included. Yeah. Um, one of our sons and his family who yep. lived here locally, but we ended up Zooming with them because we had COVID. Yeah, yeah, literally around the corner. Yeah. They, they <laughs> live around the corner from us, but we had it, so we had to Zoom. Uh, so we did, we just did a Zoom with all the kids. Um, yeah. 
Yes, Amber, community is very important. Need to be vested before something happens. Yes. That's 100%. And so I remember um, oh, Bill right. Brandall would be like, Royce, how do you... He was always confused on how I was able to, like, get stuff done. And I think that sometimes people make the mistake of... Um, like, I feel strongly that if I'm in a relationship with somebody, then it's reciprocal, right? So if every time I come to you, I'm just asking you for something and I'm never available when you need me or, you know, I'm never, like, asking you if you need something, then that's not a relationship. That's me using that person. And unfortunately, that's how a lot of people function. So for me, it's how I got, I get, that's how I get just snickered into a lot of stuff, like Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I couldn't tell Tabitha no. So, you know, it was fun though. It was a really cool experience, but. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a big issue. And I'm generally on the using end. I'm not the user, I'm the UZ. The UZ end? Well, because people want, you know, when I was the editor of the newspaper was, yes. well, can't you get this in? Well, okay, can you get me information? No. Okay. You know, and now it's the radio. Well, I want to come on. Well, I. You, you do know we sell advertising too, and yeah, and see. most nonprofits, many nonprofits, not most, many nonprofit organizations think because they're a nonprofit organization, well, you should just give it to us. Well, no, for the same reason that you get paid to do your job. Yeah, we get paid too. So let's figure out a way to do it for the lowest cost. Yes, and help you. We had a marketing budget because we understood the need for it. You got it. There's I some that don't. I tore a little bit right here, yeah. too. So I have a couple of ways I can deal with this tear. Honestly, I can just find a piece of paper that's, like, similar um, and just put it right over it. But you guys see this really straight line right here? Like, there's a really straight, straight line. I don't want to use that. I'm going to tear that because I don't want to use a really straight line. It's going to be harder to camouflage that. And I feel like that's pretty close. And I'm just going to put it right over the top of that. And you will notice it, but nobody else will. Uh, Susan Steinberg, Prentice, I retired from nursing after 21. Discovered so many life-saving artists on Facebook and YouTube. So grateful. Yes. And Amanda said her daughter worked healthcare during that time. Really rough on her. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I, I know what our local health care people went through yes talking because we had friends at the hospital and what they were dealing with it was really rough Paige Komar did you say Dancing with the Stars it was not the one on TV it wasn't like the big one it was like Gila Valley Dancing with the Stars so it was like local people you're throwing around do you all guys these words know? Yeah, Dancing with the Stars Shark Tank oh I know <laughs> we do a lot of stuff in this community we had it was Gila Valley Dancing with the Stars so it was like who was me it was the mayor the local vet. Two mayors. Well, Mayor, my year. Yeah, two mayors. It was the mayor of Pima and the mayor of Safford. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. CB was, in, CB the was in there with me. Uh, the uh, spokesman for the hospital. Yes, at Ryan. At the time. Who was the winner. Who was the winner. Um, Tabitha wanted to do it, but she couldn't. She had a health issue, so it was her assistant. Tracy. Tracy. Yes, Tracy was, was in my um, board. I'm trying to think who else was in it. And I have this other one right here, you guys. I'm going to show you guys another way that I'm going to deal with this. Luckily, they canceled it after a year. <laughs> three. Because they were coming around to David. They were. I, I, com I, I was a judge, not for yours, but I was a judge for the next two. Um, and I was supposed to be in the, the one after that, but it got canceled. Darn it. Yeah, I was so disappointed. It was fun. I just, it was nerve-wracking. Paige Komar, is it recorded? Um, I'm sure it's somewhere. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I, I'm know, just going to put a little bit of dark wax on there and make it a little less noticeable so it's not as bright. I guess it doesn't make it disappear, but I could use ink, too, to cover that up. Maybe a little red paint. But I feel like it's chippy, so if that part's chippy, it's not going to be a big deal. But um, let me find the one I, but you guys can see how you really can't even see the one that I covered. I just used a little piece that was similar. And so you really can't see it. I kind of want to, I'm going to um, wax this one too real quick. 
just because it's bright. Um, and I'm going to take this down to the shop and I feel like if I knock it back just a little bit, it won't be as bright and um, it'll be more sellable. And then that'll make my little dark corner make sense too, right? And then I'm going to wax my little feet too after this top dries. Or cure, should I say. And the cool thing about the paste wax or, you know, whether you're using Annie Sloan or, um, but I guess the DIY is different because it doesn't have the solvents in it. Neither does Wise Owl. Um, but they, the waxes do cure. So you put them on um, and after the 30 days, they cure as well. So I'm going to wipe that excess. You see how that deepened everything? A little bit so it's not quite as bright but I think this is a really cool riser now right and I'm gonna just buff this out just a little bit all right I am desperately trying to find what are you trying to find? That. What, Dancing with the Gila Bar? And then Shark Tank was a local event, again, with our corporate partner. We had like a cohort, and um, we had like, I don't know, six-month session where we kind of fishboned the challenges of local businesses, and funding kept coming up over and over again. And we have a local um, SPDC, it's a small business development center, and they have a ton of resources for local businesses, but... A lot of people just don't take advantage of it. So we set up a training through the SPDC. And if you went all the way through the training and took all the modules, you had a chance to pitch to um, a group of judges for a chance to win cash prizes. That was really fun. So it was kind of like Shark Tank, but not. It was just local. All right. On Facebook, I put a link. I love it. To uh, Royce's Dancing. Oh, Lord, you did not. I took the video. Oh, my gosh. I, had, I knew I had it. I just had to find it. See, now I got to tell them what had happened. No, I, it, was... it, I showed everybody, I because I video, I did an edit. Mm -hmm. So I showed everybody who performed. No, I'm just saying that night. So all week I had been rehearsing with my heels and I was fine, but I wasn't wearing pantyhose. So that night of the competition, I put on holes and my feet were sliding in my shoes the entire time. I know. So when you show up a dress rehearsal and they tell you to wear exactly what you're going to wear the night, listen, do not be like Royce and be hard headed. Because that's why you want to wear exactly what you're going to wear, because there's those little things that make a big difference. Because there's one point I almost fell. My partner, he caught me because if I would have hit that ground, I don't know if I would have left the house anymore. So on YouTube, because I can't really go looking for it on my tablet because I'm on YouTube on my tablet. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to jump off of this live. Oh, yeah, to go look at just, it. Say, I'm going to work on the other one since you were talking about here, that. I'll just, uh, what am I going to post? Just click on my talking head and that'll take you to my page and then scroll through and you'll find it. Oh, Lord. You guys don't want to see me. That, that was cute, though. We had to search for that. Did we have to order that outfit, or did we, did we actually find it? Uh, we remember. went to... Because um, y'all know I'm subst substantialiciously built, so I had to find me something cute, because I was dancing the salsa. No. What was it, baby? Not the salsa. The Or was it the salsa? I thought you were doing the salsa. Okay, it was a salsa. So I wanted to find me a sexy salsa dress. But I know we went to Tucson and went to a costume shop to look for you, and I don't think we found anything there. No, I think I ended up having to order something, and then I gave it to the the company. So the company goes from community to community to do this. So I gave it to them so that if they ever had another substantial, deliciously built woman, they'd have a costume for her. Because I wasn't going to wear it again. You guys see how I just use, I'm sorry, I was just talking. I just use my thing to cut the top. And I'm just, I'm just waxing tonight because I already knew I wanted to wax this one. Um, Kathleen Hoovis, why do you have tape over the Annie Sloan can? 
Um, you know what? I do videos and stuff. And um, usually when I do my reels, I try not to put products in there because I want my retailers to be able to use it to market the fact that they have my products. So um, it depends on why I'm making the video. I might not want to have the product shown you know, the specific brand name shown. So you guys, unless somebody, I don't know if you guys know this, but unless somebody asks me specifically like what I'm using, I don't generally say because I want it to be open enough because honestly, um, most of my retailers sell other products, right? And so if you go to them for paper, you might as well buy your water-based um, sealer, your transfers and whatever else they're selling and get it all from one place. Kim Comp Rogers, are you still thinking of having something in your town this year? Oh, Kim. I really want to. I really, really want to. It just really depends. We have a lot of really big stuff happening in the business this year, and it's requiring a lot of huge capital lift from us. So it just really depends. And I feel like because I can't plan, it makes me nervous. Usually I would have already had my um, location plans. You know, a lot of things would already be taken care of, but we really can't do it right now. So I don't know if it'll be this year, but we're definitely going to do it. It's just a matter of when. And it'll still be here in my town. Yes. We do a lot of stuff that if we just throw it out there, people would think, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, because you said Shark Tank, but it was local. Yeah, helping, it was a local Shark Tank. Startups. It wasn't, you know. Um, Dancing with the Graham County Stars yes. is what it was called. Right now, my radio station is in the oh, yeah. middle of the 19th annual oh, wow. Gila, Gila Idol. Yes. Uh, Which is local. Um, local singers. Yeah, that are competing every week. Uh, winner gets $2,000. Yeah, no kidding. So they can. You guys have the competition every week, and then at the end of the. So there's there's preliminaries every week. Anybody can sign up from anywhere. You just got to be here to sing. You don't get to sing over Zoom. Yeah. Uh, and you sing a cappella. Yes. Anywhere from a minute to two minutes. Uh, they choose, however many to go to the finals. So we have six of those. Then there's a callback night, because they generally don't like to choose more than three. So that gives you 18 finalists. Then we have a callback night for the people that didn't quite make it directly to the finals. Yeah. They get one they... more chance. They pick one from that. And then there's a group called Alternates, and that one's strictly fan voting. Okay. That's the online one, That's right? the Where online the fans one. get to vote. Yeah. So we're in the middle of that right now. And then July 4th, we'll do Battle of the Bands. Yes. So, But it's Which, a radio station. This is what we do. You know. Battle of the Bands is fun. Our, uh, so I still claim my nonprofit, even though I'm not there. I still volunteer. So I'll be out there selling beer at the beer garden to raise money for Meals on Wheels. Yep. Um, and David will be taking pictures. And so yes, I have to work it. I, I, in the past, I volunteered with you. I know. Yeah, um, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Look. So, y'all know how we women do. I had decided that I wanted to date David long before he even knew what was going on, apparently. So, my um, meals program manager invited him to come and to volunteer at the Battle of the Bands. Everybody yeah. keeps leasing the booth to leave us alone That's so we can right. chat. Sharon and I were in leadership mm -hmm. together. He didn't know. He didn't even know, y'all. He didn't even know. He thought I was just really friendly. <laughs> and I asked him yesterday, I said, if I hadn't been bossy and chased you down, would you still be single? Yes. You said that really fast. It's the truth. I wasn't looking to date anybody. <laughs> I, every date I had gone on following my divorce was a setup. Mm -hmm. I had uh, Michelle from the Lions Club set me up with somebody. Mm -hmm. I had uh, my Monica. boss at the paper set me up with somebody. And uh, they were fine dates. I just was not interested in uh, a relationship. And then I was just bossy. Is that what happened? Yeah. Well, the first date I didn't know was a date. I know. I put it in your hands. I just told you. You can call me. If you don't call me, we can still be friends. We both grown-ass people. It'd be fine. 
But if you were interested. I, I do have to honestly say, I, I chuckle because we sat down for, for a meal. It was lunch. I remember that. Yes. And I pulled out my reporter's notebook and a pen. <laughs> and I said, okay, so what are we talking about today? Because we had gone out to lunch we had. for work previously a couple of times yeah we know each other yeah so it was and we had worked together on a couple of newspaper things and that your organization needed so i pulled out my notebook and i went so what are we working on today and your response was no i i asked you out on a date yeah and i went oh i was surprised okay i was forward y'all i ain't have time to be playing around now in my defense, people, at at the Battle of the Bands. No, it wasn't the Battle of the Bands when you first. No, got no, when here. you were flirting, and I didn't know it. Oh, okay. I was under the impression you were with Mike, because everybody told me you were with your ex. We hadn't been together for a long time. But well, I guess it wasn't nobody's business. They didn't know. It wasn't anybody. But I, that's. Hey. That was the word on the street. Yes. Oh, Royce is with Mike. Mike works at, at the mine. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. So you could flirt all day long. If I think you're you're with somebody, man, then not me any of me. Oh, I just love that grunginess. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? And it even brought out my numbers that are scratched in up there. Sorry. I get excited when grunginess comes to perfection. I think I want a little bit more around the edges, though. All right, we are... I know, we're over. We're going to yeah. go. I finished three projects, though, you guys. Can you believe it? I finished all three. And we really didn't go over because we didn't even start for like 625. So I finished three projects in one sitting. This one isn't really finished. What do you guys think I should add to this? Because I feel like it should be an assemblage project. Like I should add something up here. I don't know. We'll see. Alyssa Bricker visitin had to break away to watch the dance competition. She said, "Great job!" Oh I mean, Lord, have mercy for Jesus, I baby. Will, I will say this: it makes a bigger difference on Royce not winning because I, honestly, I thought it was between you and Ryan. Ryan did. If you had seen Ryan at rehearsal, and I had, so that's why I yes. thought you were the winner until Ryan came out. He did. He was so. I didn't think he was going to do it. Like, I did not think he was going to do it. I thought he was going to be like, I can't do it. And he came out and he just like, whew. I was very proud of him. I was happy he won. I, I had gone to rehearsals, had taken video, had interviewed everybody. And I really like this. This is going up in the living room. So Ryan struggled. He did. During rehearsal. So I thought you were the winner until he came out. And it's yes. like, ooh, nobody expected that. It was fine. I raised money for Seekus. That was my goal. So my three projects, all with decoupage. Which one is your favorite? This one is my favorite. Surprise, surprise. But I like this one, too. This one seriously is going to go up in my living room. I'm going to find somewhere low to put it, maybe, so I don't have to decoupage the bottom. And then this one I'll probably take to the shop. But I do like it, though. And so I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Sorry we had so many problems tonight. Um, and for my Facebook peeps, I don't know. I hope I can figure out the technology before next week so we can have our dual cameras, the Rust and Aqua. Um, yeah, Melissa Paget likes that. Aunt B Attic likes the shelf. Amanda likes them all. Verla likes the shelf the best. Um, let's see. I cannot believe I got Andy and Honey there. likes the clipboard the best. Paige says... The riser is to die for. Uh, Karen Moyer loves the shelf. Lady Poe says the riser is everything. So, yeah, they all work great. I think the wrapping on the riser made it, right? Wrapping it all, being able to wrap the um, paper all the way around the edges. So, that's it. Thank you all so much for joining me. And thank you for all of, the, of you who came and tuned in all day during our marathon. Remember, if you guys are looking for retired designs, to reach out to your recycled uh, retailer. If you do not have a recycled retailer, I actually have a QR code for that. You can find a list of retailers here. I don't have a QR code for Facebook. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you can find your list of retailers here. 
If you don't have anyone near you, like 99% of our retailers will ship. So you can reach out to the nearest retailer and I am sure they would be happy to take care of you. Um, do we have anything else? Right? I'm comfortable because <laughs> it's pointed at you. That's why I'm comfortable. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We will see you next week. And you guys remember, as always, there is not anything that I've done here tonight that you guys can absolutely do. Thank you so much.